Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to our little town. The school is coming along in all its glory. Isn't that a nice building? This looks really, really Romanesque. Also with some tower on top of that. Beautiful actually. And let's just have a look what it does. First of all, it has one employee that is a citizen. So he's the head teacher with a stick. And this one cost me 20. This is now reduced or well, hopefully should be increasing the need for the school so there is the school in range true now very good there we have it and this should really boost the happiness we have 71 happiness right now that's fine i um, haven't really figured out uh, if happiness does increase my income so the income stays the same um those buildings really cost a whole lot though so perhaps that negates the bonus that we get out of it right away again no idea 20 seems really high but well that's the school so my citizens get some proper education here because they need it. They need it for all the industry. Speaking about industry, we have a couple of problems here at hand right now. First of all, bread is a bit in, but only tiny. Flour is still not really there. So I think, I mean, this crop field is really producing a whole lot there. Both of these windmills are fully used right now. So, well, we need to build more of them. More windmills, um, it's fine. So I'm going to have another one here. And I'm going to have another one, yeah, just behind our tool maker there. Very important. And the other things, I mean, this is really tight here, isn't it? Another one would be the uh, brewery for more cider, right? So even here as well, once again, we have enough apples, but not enough cider. So let's have another one. This lumber yard still has some wood in its surroundings, so that's fine. And we also need to check from time to time these uh, gatherer huts there, right? So this gatherer hut here is not regrowing automatically because we have don't have the dedicated planter here. So I always have to click on the planting, which gets a bit annoying, but what I can see, there is a good thing for that. Dedicated planter, there it is already. Gatherers, huts, and lumber yards are certainly a vital part of our ever-growing settlement, but you've got more important things to worry about than planting their seeds. With this, you'll be able to tell these buildings to automatically regrow. And since we have the school now, we can unlock this tag, and we should. But now this one here is, oh, but, okay, we need to manually click on that and tell them you can auto grow now, right? So I don't have to worry about that. Perfect. At least that's working. For the fruit and the crop, well, they have their fields, so they don't really need that anyway. Perfect. So there are another automation that is taking place. Now let's just check it. We have more cider and hopefully coming in. There is also the thing with the bakery. So there's more flour. And with that, we could have more bakeries. This one here. And yeah, there we have this little space there. So let's just have another bakery here and here. And we have a bit of space there. Ah, from time to time, I have the urge of building a, or planting a tree. We have two type of trees as far as I know. If I can find them. I can't find my uh, my trees. There it is. The Scots pine tree. There we have it. In all its glory. A new tree in the center. <laughs> I feel good now. Perfect. So that's that. More bakeries. More fruit plantations. Ah, fruit plantations. How many apples do we have? 16. We might need another one. Or I upgrade this one here. Let's upgrade it for now. And perhaps it produces a, a apples faster than before using some special chemical stuff here for my trees so they can throw more apples at me. The next windmill already finished, that's good to see. And the windmill number two, just a bit of stone, but stone is something we really don't have a lot. The problem is that we only have one stone deposit, right? Working for the whole settlement. I haven't found another one yet. There's marble here. And that's it. Perhaps there is something in the forest, no idea. Down here we have more iron. There is more stone. But it's far away. No idea how I should get the workforce over there for that and how to get the stone into the settlement. This might be something. Now let's just check my technology once again. For the artisans, we still need low density citizen house. Okay, we have 22 medium density citizen houses, but only two low density citizen houses. So that's something we need to do in order to unlock the artisans. How does it work? I think we need to upgrade only the low density farmers, right? So we do have a few of them. There is one. Let's upgrade this. And now it's a low density. Ah, yes, that's the difference. All right, it has one house. They have two houses. <laughs> so that's that. 
lots of green area then for this little citizen house there. So we need a couple of them for the artisans. We might want to set the focus on that. Can we have several focuses at the same time? Because, nah, we don't need to, right? There's no other tech at the moment. So that's fine. What we do need, however, is for my citizens, before I can upgrade them to artisans uh, anyway, we need beef and we need basic clothing. Basic clothing is animals. Should be over here somewhere. There we have the animal farm. And this one here is providing then wool, wool that we can use for the clothing. Now, where should we place this one, right? It's getting a bit thick over there, so I'm not building that much more. I was thinking about this area or even this area for some animal farming, right? Because I don't think we need... Oh! Oh my goodness, there's stone! I did not see that. Perfect. Let's get the road over there. right -o. So we could build up our little industry for animals then here. I think this may... Eh. It's still tight. This whole district hasn't been discovered yet as well. So let's just check it out. Can we still do some exploration there? Yes, here. So let's send my party to this area. And hopefully there's no troll or dragon or something like that looking in the hills over there because I really would like to expand. The next bakeries are coming up. That's nice and all. And the next windmill is working for us now as well. Perfect, with some flour coming in. Lots of flour coming in. And already research or explored. And there's been a lot of weird activity happening at the coal mine lately. Reports of tremors and an odd smell throughout the mine are causing concern. Continue mining. We have a high chance for fire. And shut them down the, the mine and investigate the issue. 100, yeah, while well, shutting it down for 14 days. Oh, that seems like a minor problem, right? We have, yeah, we have enough coal. So let's just shut it down for now. And glad tidings. Well, 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 the settlement is doing rather well for itself. The crops are growing, money is being made, and everyone is happy. So happy, in fact, that they're all getting on swimmingly. The population has put together a reward for you. Wow, 200 questions. Thank you very much. You can never have enough money. I mean, they already are paying taxes. There we have this whole area now with this beautiful big mountain. Where we could do something. It's very narrow in here, the hills. Um, hmm, this might be my animal area, to be honest. Yep. Doesn't look very good for that, but it, I think it is. Especially here as well. And up here. Now, up here for my animals, I can now get rid of the crop farm. I'm building a second crop farm over here. right -o. So, there we need the space for the crop farms. It's six crop fields, actually. And we're at the end of our city there. By the way, there is the, the elven place. Perhaps we need to connect it to our settlement or something. We have done now, but nothing is happening. No idea what you want from me. Is that the end of the warehouse then already? Hmm, no, the warehouse doesn't have a range. So what is that border? I can't build here too. What does the border mean anyway then? It's around... Oh, I think I think it's meaning that this is the surrounding area for my human settlement, right? So if I build more, I would need other people than working in these houses there. That could be true. I can still build it though. So let's build another crop farm, crop farm, and I can still build more fields than there. I'm ignoring this settlement there for now. No idea what to do with it. Um, that's one thing, another crop farm. So I can now get rid of this crop farm here. Off it goes. The same goes with the windmill. We have now enough windmills. And then we're building... No, the roads are fine here. I don't think we'll need another main road or something. And I would like to have my first animal farm then. And it's very close to um, my city, right? So there should be some farmers available for working in there. We can also get rid now of this road here and have an additional house in there. Fantastic. So another block is coming together then. And there is then this. Perhaps we will need... Yep. A warehouse but let's have a small warehouse up here because I don't think we'll need more than that so a small warehouse for this whole area more or less 
might be then just here. Or a bit further to the north. Huh. Let's squeeze in two more houses here. Two more houses here. And then we have the road. Right? And the road is going all the way up here. I have no idea how much space the animal farm now needs. So that's something to consider. And then we'll have the warehouse where I... Once I know where to build it, right? Also looking at the stone mining. What kind of jobs do we have here? The peasant miner and the citizens, both of them. So I still need to grow a bit into that direction. We don't have people there yet. I could, however... Hmm. I could, however, yep, just expand here as well. Into this direction now, more aggressively. Quite a lot of resources we're wasting now. I mean, not really wasting, but you get the idea. And I would also like to have a smaller park here somewhere. Right, so that we need to make a bit of room then for the park as well. Perhaps even here as well. Lots of construction. So the animal farm should be finished first. The carts are already on its way. Uh, I don't like the sound of these houses and we can't deactivate it now. <laughs> At the moment. just It just booms in your head all the time. But we can still survive through that. Enough wood. We still need some stone. Yeah, the stone is a problem. A smelly arrow. Cover your nose as the place has been overcome by horrific pungent odor. It would seem that the deer wandering around the area have made a mess in the street. The smell is becoming overwhelming. Attempt to mask the smell or we pay a huge amount of money. 350 cre crescents. Um, but for happiness. Yeah, let's pay that. We have enough money for now. Because I'm still waiting for the animal farm here for the stone. It's just not coming in. We need way more stone. First of all, can I have another upgrade? Uh, we need stone for the upgrade. Seriously? <laughs> Nothing I can do here. So, hmm. We have only that stone there. And for that we do need a warehouse. Now let me guess. Let me guess, the warehouse... Ah, it doesn't need any stone. So we could have a warehouse over there for now that can take that stone mine into its area. And we probably should be doing that because we need it, right? And I can't do anything else. So there we have the warehouse now. There's actually people living in that or working in that now too. So they should now be getting the resources then from the other side, hopefully. They have this one there in its radius. Oh, look at that. All righty. And they're now delivering it already. That's good to see. Now, of course, there's then the question of how do we get workers over there. Let's just have a look at the farm. The farm goes over to this one, the market. So we'll need to build another market somewhere here, close to the warehouse. Let's make this like so for now. And close to that, we can then have some houses. So I will need them. have a huge radius though so there should be a problem we could have a couple of houses here right so let's have three houses for now and they can hopefully then work in that mine oh we have employees they're not really in its range it seems oh fine then we don't need those houses anymore and probably also don't need that marketplace. Let's just keep it there for now. Very good. Another stone mine. Let's upgrade this one right away. Now we don't have the wood for that. So this market, uh, this warehouse would need some wood. But that's fine. At least there's a bit more stone coming in. Very good. And it is. Fantastic. We have the stone now. That was really quick. The animal farm we have, the wool, we need three fields for that on the wool. Very good. So we do need those woolies here then as well, right? And we could, uh, we can only place it like so. At least one sheep farm and the other one right next to it once I get rid of that street. Right, so we could have another one right beside it. We can squeeze in quite a few of these <laughs> cute little sheepies that we have now. And since this is working, we will have another one and another one. And yeah, having then the warehouse down here makes sense. Let's just connect this one with a road. 
and also this one here with that roll there so the berries can still work and auto replanting anyway and then i would like to have a warehouse in this area too over here though nah let's make it really over here so this is the end for the the city for now going then all the way to that side there and since we have now the wool coming in then the warehouse is being built already so i think this is being built instantly um what we now still need is something for there we have it a weaver who makes the best quality basic clothing and elaborate clothing a bit of stone we need there once again i think that's it though then right did i overlook something here no i don't think so the weaver and yeah let's have this weaver industry over here to be honest right because there we have the farms already it doesn't make sense to have it anywhere else and the weaver the first one and we'll just see we probably will need quite a lot of them that's the basic clothing beef would be the other thing it's producing wool now um wool should be coming in then in this warehouse there how do we get beef this would be a big question animal produce there it is we can do it now since we have built the animal farm unlocks the axe the chicken and the beef there we have it a new tech and i think this is just yep it's just this one here it just unlocks the fields that we have then so the beef farm or the beef field that we need here um let's actually move the berry farms a bit right so the gatherer hut comes a bit further away now we can do this thanks to having a uh, thanks to having the the warehouse closer now to to this whole area so we can have another one and another one here in the forest right both of them there is one and there is another one then going to these two the lumber yards are still working there anyway so we can get rid of this one there and have additional animal farms in the area so i would like to have another one then um depends on how we can squeeze it in right oh and this should actually work out and then we just have another one so three fields it needs we can squeeze in the animal farm here and the radio is quite big enough anyway right let's build it there and then i would like to have yet another one over here somewhere and there is a an iron mine that i still would like to use as well so hopefully this is not destroying too much right so we should be able yes easily to squeeze in three fields there three fields here and we have a whole lot of space up here look at that we can get rid of the forester doesn't matter more farms we need then and this is coming in from the north of the city at the same time we have the heavy industry and the brads over there right with more bakeries and i think planning this out like that makes sense now we have the second brewery working as well i would like to put an upgrade there very good let's just check it both of them have storage right now nah. we need another fruit farm then as well so this one and let's have this one here in the forest once again like so so there we can have then another one and most likely another one over there it's auto saving quite often i don't know if i can change that i will have a look at that fruit another one over here then Ah, it's outside of the reach now. Oh, yeah, we, we're running into problems there now with the range of our town center, right? The range is not that big. There we still have room. We probably will need to have more farms than on that side too. For my whole city. Stone and wood. Now wood we have plenty of anyway. Let's just use the time to expand once again. Um, there we have a block. I would like to finish this block here with the houses. So that one. Going all the way up there. So this is high density zone later then, of course. Right? So it doesn't matter if I build it like that now. Perhaps let's have a double road going up there as well. And here we have then some more houses. What I definitely will need for uh, this area though is another water well. So let's just see that we have the road done. Hmm, I hope I can squeeze in now. The 
this is not working. Ah, this is fine though. I know what we can do here is we can have the a little a little park here, right? And also the well then. There's the water well. We do need them. Oh, and there is beside the fire station is also a well. Let's have the well here actually. Beside the fire station. That's a good location for it. Perfect. Then we have those houses coming up. There's the market now popping up as well for all of these here. Already getting a few resources. And boom, and boom, and boom. As we get more and more of these houses there. We still need to wait now for a bit of stone here for the animal farm. The weaver hut has been finished though. Another very cute building. And this one has the wool now and is producing, as we can see, basic clothing out of that. Let's also make an upgrade there um, to produce a bit faster. And we'll just see how much we need then, I guess, perhaps one animal farm for one weaver hut. So that's another good coming in. And we should be seeing then here the basic need for the citizens being popping up here as well. And on the beef, I'm already working. Stay tuned.